Deep in the woods on the island creek where the silence is complete except for the hunter's feet. Old friends meet to compete in the wildlife hunt. The first is fine-tuned in physique. He's a giant reliant on his lion-sized appliances. Orion could eat the Mayans for lunch. Artemis knows the art of this, the goddess of the wilderness. She can feel her heart in bliss all the way in her cartilage turning magenta. The man gets to boasting though as they go to and pro roasting a sweet dodo Talking of all he knows, didn't mean to offend her But the argument ensues, the ending of the coups Harsh words they choose, their egos bruised Nothing excused, unwilling to lose, they lose each other he knew he was superb, had the perfect aim, so in the heat of the moment he made a claim that he could hunt down every last earthly creature, exterminate the wildlife just to teach her. She had left him locked, dejected, and blue, and he had no purpose. In his grief he decided to follow through, and he started with the porpoise. She was hurt by his action when she heard the news, not just emotionally, but physically too. As he slaughtered her children, she felt it inside. He had to be punished for his mortal pride. And stop before he killed everything she cared for. Before he fulfilled what they were no longer prepared for. So she enlisted the fiercest of warriors from the animal kingdom, a gargantuan scorpion of cataclysmic proportions, legs big enough to level Tokyo, a stinger worthy of Godzilla himself, and a strikingly handsome face considering his exoskeleton. All eight of his eyes were glistening with aggressive ambition. A great battle took place in the Himalayas, where Orion was ambushed as he was punting mountain goats. With one glorious leap that seemed to move in slow motion and be underscored by lively and inciting hand drum rhythm. Scorpio pounced onto Orion's back, ripping at his precious tendrils as if they were skin of a ripened vegetable. Orion turned and paralyzed Scorpio with an ancient telepathic technique and attempted a kick to the groin. He was sadly unable to locate it. Orion struggled to continue fighting, desperate to defend his last shred of dignity. Scorpio considered the sad beauty of the human soul and the love of a friendship now in shambles, and stung him in the face, repeatedly. The battle was so epic, all the great gods came to cheer. And with a puff of mystic smoke, Zeus himself appeared, he said. I have witnessed all that happened in the awesome work of Mars. I will reward the victor with a place among the stars. But Artemis was present, her tear-stained physiognomy pleaded for her hero's place in future astronomy. So in the celestial sphere, his carcass is displayed. From every mortal man, attention must be paid. The boasters must remember the way Orion died. He might have lived a lovely life if it wasn't for his pride. We wrote this song about Johann Bayer, a lesser known amateur astronomer. Biblical characters, that was your hope. You documented thousands of stars without a telescope. Oh, yo. Oh, 
on fire. man on your mind and your pictures were beautifully hand drawn we find your greatest contribution to the supernovas and vegas was naming the constellations with alphas and omegas we love you mr buyer you're the man so get me a signed copy of your book you're an omatria stars within a constellation with the Greek alphabet, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Psi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Some people think you name them according to brightness, <laughs> but we know that's bullcrap. We want to thank you, Johan, for your work in astronomy and your otherwise uninteresting life. 